All new tonight, pirate skeletons found in a legendary shipwreck off the Cape. And now researchers are trying to identify who they are. And trace them to their living relatives in New England. WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez is live in studio with more on this really interesting discovery, Anaritis. Lisa and David, an investigative team is now examining the remains of six pirates from a ship that wrecked off of Wellfleet several hundred years ago, more than 300 to be exact. The remains come from a ship called the Witta, which was owned by a slave trading company but was stolen from a group of pirates, which included former slaves who had escaped slavery. Explorers tell us that this part of the ocean where they found the remains is full of shipwreck artifacts. When the ship wrecked, it went onto a sandbar in this very ferocious storm in 1717, and the ship turned upside down, and everything in the ship fell into the sand. And then over a period of time, all of the material, it's like putting a penny on a snowbank in January. Where is it in July? It's on the sidewalk. Well, that's the same thing with this deep sand off the backside of the Cape in a place called the Graveyard of the North Atlantic. There were so many shipwrecks there. The investigative team says that the process to identify the remains could take years, but they hope that when they do, they'll be able to connect them with their family members. And David and Lisa, the entire interview talking to them, my jaw was on the floor. If you're as fascinated as me, they do have a museum in Yarmouth that's open during the school break. Excellent. Anaritis, thank you. And it